Hi Crypto Kings and Queens, welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie, aka Natushi. In today's episode, what I'm gonna show you is how we're able to spot the break of structure. So when the market is in a uptrend, we want to know when the market is actually reversing the trend. The same way is that when the market is in a downtrend, we want to see when the market is reversing the trend to an uptrend. I will use both BTC and Nasdaq and combining them together because they move pretty similar to each other, yet a little bit differently. So continue to look at this video if you want to know more on how you're able to spot the break of structure. I am super excited to talk about today's sponsor Aura, which is also just for US residents only. But as you already know, it is super simple for us to get hacked on the internet today when we are using different apps, we're signing up on different websites and anyone can technically find anything about us today. This happened myself a couple of years ago when someone did hack my email and it took forever for me to get the email back. And when I searched on myself a couple of days ago I did actually find out where this came from and it did actually scare me a little bit and this is the reason why this is so important why this information is accessible is because of data brokers who profits by selling your information to robocallers telemarketers spammers and anyone that just want to find more about you so what aura will do is that it will help you to identify the brokers that are sharing your information and automatically submit opts a request of your behalf. They'll even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. You can use my link, you have it right there in the corner, r.com slash Natushi, and just try for two weeks to see if they will find any data brokers that is actually sharing your information on the internet. You also have it linked in the description down below my video. So Aura is helping you to monitor your emails and passwords and see if they were involved in any data breach and exposed on the dark web and gives you recommendations on what to do. Aura app also features VPN, passwords manager, real-time credit, and identify thief monitoring, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool that you'll ever need all inside one app. So let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you are signing up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial with my link. And you will be shocked on how much your private information Aura actually finds exposed over those two weeks. So for you to get this 14 day free trial to see if your information now has been leaked online, you're using the QR code that you see right there in the corner, or you're using the link that you have in the description down below the video. It is Aura.com last Natushi. When we're looking at the chart, we have Nasdaq at the top and on the bottom we have BTC. And the market is looking pretty similar to each other, but on BTC we usually have some more fake outs than what we usually have on Nasdaq. But the most important thing when we're using market structure is to figure out when the market is actually reversing the trend. And you can see on here, you can see how the market created the higher highs and higher lows the same way down here on BTC. Market then broke both the trend line and the last higher low, which means that in this case the uptrend is over and the downtrend is beginning the same thing on btc you can see we were in a uptrend eventually market broke the last higher low here and then we saw the market created the first lower low created the lower high and then the market continued with the downtrend. When we are zooming into the charts right now, we're looking at Nasdaq. We can clearly see the higher highs and higher lows. And when the market did create the last higher high, what the market did was that it pulled back down to the last higher low. And this is where we technically can say the market can still be bullish because you can see the market give us another retest of the exact same level and then have a spike up. But when the market is breaking below the higher low level, this is a big indication that the market is actually continuing to go down. So the market broke below, then you saw the market retested the higher low from below, and then you saw the market give you the big drop from here. And when we're zooming in on BTC, we have the exact same thing happening. The market did create the last higher high, market broke below the higher low level, and then the market almost came back up the first time, retested the previous higher low created as a lower high level, market dropped, but then eventually you saw how the market pulled back up and retested 
attempts to this level perfectly. Both of them are going to the exact same direction. Of course, in between, you'll see how the market is, of course, moving in different ways as the first time you saw how the market on Nasdaq was retesting the lower high while BTC was retesting it on the second time. We were looking at how a uptrend became a downtrend and now we're going to look and see how the downtrend becomes a uptrend when the market decides to create the next high. What we're also is using is the trend line because it's also guiding us to what's happening. So when the market finally have the power to break above the trend line, what we're waiting for the market to do is of course to create the first higher high and then see if the market will somewhere create the next higher low. Here you can see how the market was consolidating but the market still created higher highs. Then eventually you saw another thing happening. The market broke the support trend line in this case and then market slowly instead it started to create lower lows and lower highs. The same thing on BTC you saw how the market was creating lower lows and lower highs from the high that we did have. Market was always below the trend line. Eventually the market did find the power to break above it. We created the first higher high, created the higher low, another higher high, another higher high. If you are just like me and you love trade cryptocurrencies, you can right now receive a bonus on the platform that I am also using right now on Bybit. Now everything depends on when you are looking at this video because at the moment you can receive a bonus up to $30,000 and $30. The bonuses can change but you will always have the link in the description down below the video where you can see the latest bonuses. This platform is amazing for you if you want to trade cryptocurrencies with low fees when it comes to holding your positions for a longer time or zero fees for your spot pairs. On the right side you're choosing your leverage and on the left side you're choosing your favorite coin to trade. Myself I am trading both B2C and Ethereum. These are my two favorite coins to trade on. On Bybit's homepage you can see how much good things that Bybit is actually offering you guys. So you can just see right here what Bybit does have for you. You have it linked in the description down below my video and you also have it pinned in the corner. So if we're just gonna do it a little bit more of a textbook you can see this this is a uptrend high 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 low high 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 low high high market then decides to break below the high low level created as another lower high because we never had the power to break above the previous higher high market then slowly instead it starts to reverse to the downside so usually when the market is giving us the first break from the uptrend the market creates the lower right here what you can do is that you're using either the previous high or the low right here you can see the box because this higher high and this higher low will be where the market is most likely getting drawn to to give you the retest before it actually have the power to reverse the trend when the market is in a downtrend it's just the exact same thing you see the market create the lower lows lower highs market then created the last lower low breaks above the previous low and then you slowly instead to see how the market is now breaking the highs and created as a high low level and this is the exact same thing here so we can use the previous or last lower high com either combined with the low everything depends on how the market is looking or the lower low and you'll see that the box that you see right here we usually don't have a big box like that but what I want you to understand is that when you see the market break the lower lows lower highs and this is also where we can use the trend line you'll see how the market is always retesting in the beginning before the market is giving you the new trend you will always see how the market is using the last levels that we have or before the market has the power to break from these levels this is how we are able to spot the break of structure and the good thing when you understand market structure and break of structure with trend lines is that you can actually do this on every time frame because the market is always changing direction even if you are looking at the daily now as we are doing it it would just take a lot more time before the market is actually giving you the level the prices that you need for you to be able to make a decision if you want to go long or short in the market but the more you're breaking down everything to the lower time frames you have different trends inside different trends which means that as long as you understand structure trend lines and you understand break of structure then you are pretty good to go and I can guarantee you that you will see a lot of changes within the market and you Thank you everyone for looking at this video together with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification so you know when I am live next time when I do have my daily updates. Please give a comment if you understood more about the market after the video. Have a great day everyone. I love you. Toodles.